Hey YouTubers, this is Garfi signing on. I know it's been a minute. Uh, been busy, you know, doing a lot of stuff, work, house, and just about everything else. Uh, but I saw my uh, little project room here. This is actually in the garage. This is a room in the garage. And um, ever since we purchased the house, in this little room here in the garage, it was always cold. So that's the part of the garage right here. So um, I took the opportunity to take everything down, rip this wall apart, take the hot water tank out, put in installation and re-sheet wrap this whole entire wall. In the same time, all this was done in about four and a half to five months ago, last year. And during the same time, I took the opportunity to put a reinforcement board behind here so I could reinstall all my stuff. Um, changes I've made. I sold the Ames and the, um, the Power Simple inverter that I started out with you know, a while back. Upgraded to um, a uh, Sun Gold Power 48 volts, um, 48, 6, 65 48 from Sun Gold Power. So the big battery bank I had over here, I split it in half. So now I have only the Nissan Leaf running on the green inverters up there and the three EP ever um, um, charge controllers. And the blue batteries you see over there, the Live PO4, they are series. They're, they're actually um, seven bad Sorry, they are actually 14 batteries series. So there were originally 24 volts, which was seven batteries in series to make my 24 volts originally. So now they're in parallel. Sorry, they're, now they're in series two, two 24 volts series to go to my 48 volts. Same thing on my Tesla pack over here. They are series to make my 48 volts and my Chevy Volt that was also a 24 volts. They are re, you know, reconfigured to 48 volts. So I'm doing 48 volts on those two blue batteries and uh, 48 on the um, Nissan Leaf and 48 here on the um, Chevy Volts. Those are my displays you see over there. On the left, I have um, solar assistance. Like I said, I bought it in South Africa about last year, about four and a half to five months ago. And you know, it's been working out fine. The solar assistance is monitoring the, uh, the two green inverters over there. And then in, in, in the middle, I have my shunt display over there because as you could see, I buried the shunt over there. So now I have a display right here. On the right of that, I have the Wi-Fi set up for the blue inverter. So that's what's going on there. So that's my system. And like I say, it's, it's 24 volt and 48 volts in one. But you know, like I said, the batteries are split. Split and, you know, it's, it's split up. So things so, you know, could work. Um, that's the wires coming down from the grid. All the wires in here is also upgraded. I had originally um, eight gauge wires in here. Now I have um, six gauge wires. So I have four wires coming down from the main panel, the main panel for the house. I got four wires coming down, two live and two neutral. Likewise a ground. One of the live and neutral feeds the two green inverter grid in. One of the live and neutral feeds the blue inverter grid in. Same thing. I have four sets of wires coming down from the inverters. I have two live and two neutral. A set of live and neutral coming off because the green inverters are parallel. They're parallel. Parallel. There's no 240 volts here. They're parallel. So um, live and neutral coming down. Same thing, all six gauge. And live and neutral come down from the green inverters to feed one transfer box right here and the next live and neutral coming down from the blue inverter to feed this transfer box right here. quiet and everything is all six gauge on the uh, 120 side the um my sun gold power here i know it calls for a 60 amp breaker i did not install a 60 amp breaker i installed a 50 amp breaker 
the most I'm pulling off this infrared is about 3,000 watts. So that's fine. <laughs> On these, I um, have a uh, 40 amp breaker to feed both of them. This is from the grid. That's my grid cutoff right here from the, the grid that feeds the inverters. So leg one uh, is teed off to feed these two. Leg two to feed that one. This is also a grid outlet. I should in case I decide to install these which were grid tie inverters. If I decide to install them here and connect them to my 24 volts, there will be a place for it to plug in so I could dump power back into the grid from here. Even though I can do it here, but if I have excess coming down, I could still put, put it inside here. In here, I have 120 volts outlet right here as well. But this is coming from the inverters. I'm not talking about what's going over to my, um, to my um, transfer switches outside. I'm talking about right here. There's also 120 volts coming off these two inverters. This 120 volts green inverter out is to feed my uh, my displays that you see right here and the next section goes over to feed my uh, my watts instant hot water heater that I also installed I got a fan over here and a fan in there and an exhaust fan right here a temperature sensor right here and the temperature reaches depends on whatever I said for then it would trigger off air blows across here goes up goes out likewise it's also set up and all this is monitored by my uh, my shunt brain right here from my battery shunt and uh, it is set up in two ways temperature likewise voltage my trigger voltage to dump voltage or to trigger the fans as well or to send excessive volt, uh, uh, power over or not necessarily excessive power or just to um, trigger whatever it is it could also run off temperature that's right here likewise um, over voltage I put my over voltage here at 24.8 so that's how my system is set up you know or a part of my system is set up coming down here those are the um, PV breakers for all the inverters, likewise the charge controllers. DC breaker is right here for the two green inverter. And the DC breaker here is here for the blue inverter. My DC breaker here are here for these. And as you could see, everything here is labeled. I made sure that I live with everything that should in case I drop dead tomorrow my wife or my kids they could, they could come in here and they could understand everything so I built my system to be user friendly I did not build my system just for me who know what I'm doing I built my system that should in case I got sick or I die my wife or my kids could come inside here and understand everything passwords for everything is labeled just about everything that has to do with password pertaining to what I'm doing here. My wife and my kid understand, my kids understand everything. You know, uh, what's going on, what's going, what belongs to what. So everything has got a number on them. So they could always come in here and refer to everything that's inside here. Everything in here is user friendly for my wife and my two kids. They don't have to come in here and worry about getting electrocuted for nothing at all whatsoever. Same thing on the DC side. All the breakers are also labeled, matches everything inside here. So again, for whatever the reason is, they can always come in here and figure out and, 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 and just work. They don't have to figure anything, everything is labeled. Same thing, the uh, the transfer boxes on here are also labeled what belongs to what. <coughs> Quiet! Everything is labeled inside here. Same thing in my breaker box. Everything is labeled. Quiet! Everything is labeled inside here. 
So at any given point, I you know should take sick or you know I die. You know life goes on. You know the system will be here working just the same. My wife knows what to do, and my kids know what to. Do. That's one of the most important things for me when I was doing my system. I always made sure that everything is perfectly protected. Everything is labeled so my wife and my kids could understand everything that's going on here. And same thing, there's a pixie glass across here. And if you notice, I got my fuse here. So there's a fuse between this here. This is one bank completely, and that's one bank. But I did not put a fuse just on the end of the um, 24 volts pack right here. No, I put the fuse in end. That shouldn't case of anything, I break the pack. I disable the 24 volts for whatever reason it is. So that's the reason why I put my fuses here on this pack and not, not somewhere because it's so big. It's a lot of amperage that's sitting here. Um, as for my blue batteries, those used to be 24. And as you could see, it's seven batteries wire in series. So now it's seven in series and seven in series. So these are coupled in series. So 14 batteries in series to make my 48 volts. And no, it's not, 16 batteries like everybody else this is seven because again uh on the 24 volt side i mean these are not in a 24 volt configuration anymore it's 48 but uh the max voltage on these would be um 50 point 50 is 50 point um 50.4 would be the not the max voltage right 25.2 and 25.2 that's 50.4 but I don't charge these batteries to uh, in under 24 under 48 volts. I don't charge my batteries to 50.4 volts. They are charged to 50 volts or maybe 50.2. On the 24 volts side, they are not charged to 25.2. They are charged to 25 volts or maybe 25.1. Same thing. The cutoff voltage as the inverters are programmed like as my charge controllers. They are programmed that should in case the voltage hits 25.1, they will drop the PV. They will drop the PV. I don't have any, uh, what do you call those things? BMS like everybody else. No, I don't have any BMS inside here. None whatsoever. I rely on my inverters to, to, you know, to take care of that. Likewise, my charge controllers. Same thing with charge controllers. They are programmed never to um, go over 25.1. So it reaches 25.1 and then whatever it is, it cuts the voltage. I drop the PV. Same thing there, same thing there. So that's my system. As for here, it's not done. Um, that's my um, orange pie brain that's sitting there. And um, that's the, uh, the brain for the shunt and that's the ET ever um, 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 parallel whatever port so I could tie all three charge controller together so they all communicate together and um, this is my, uh, my, my, my distribution block distribution my uh, bus bar those are um, half inch bus bar I'm gonna put a piece of wood, pixie glass over here and secure this perfectly just the same. So nothing came, I don't know, accidentally. I don't know what to say. But all this is in the pipeline to put a securing cover over here. Same thing, a securing cover over here. So that's my system, um, YouTube and all my wire work and, and whatever it is and the label. And uh, there it is. There it is. You know, there are all my labels. You know, everything is labeled. And like I say, my system here is user friendly for my family. You know, uh, nobody has to come in here to figure out what is what, what belongs to what, so forth and so on. Everything is perfectly labeled, labeled, labeled. And um, oh, this was what I did because I noticed there was a fan in this thing, not fan, a filter. 
I went ahead and do the same. So I glued some sponges on these things as well. So those are my filter. They ran both sides. Same thing on the back of these. I took these inverters apart and I cleaned them up completely and put a filter at the back of it as well. But that was a um, picture chat. Garfield signing off.